Right, now I've got to explain because I've done a series of videos where the very first video that explained how I got to that state is missing. Don't ask me how, I think I may have overwritten the name of the video with the next session. I'm, yeah, I, it was really frantic. So, this is going to be retrospective that I explain this. Now, this is the brand new Hobo's Hollow, hence the fact. Now, I think it's went wrong. Now, we know this. This was in the very last session on YouTube. The session after this, I explained that I might do something, and the one that I, the recording I've got, just jumped straight into doing something. I need to explain to you what I actually did. So, I'm actually, this is going to be probably quite useful. What we've done is we've gone for Haggis's map update, but that presents a problem. We have all of our equipment on this let's play and all of our fields, but we didn't have any growth. Now we have got growth again. This is this is New Farmer with all of our equipment, every single placeable we've got, but with a slight difference. When you do this, when you pull your placeables into uh, the a uh, map. You can do that. The positions are all recorded with exact coordinates. But when you put them onto a map, I've had to paint this. There is no paint that comes in. I've had to add this because you just get... The one good thing is you don't get any horrible angular bits where things get placed in boards. You do get all sorts of oddities. Like there is no paint on anything here. Now you will see this. You will see me explaining all of this. I'm not going to go into too much because this. I'm just showing you a bit of background as to what what is going to happen and what actually happened. So what really happened was, being as all of our fields went wrong, I thought I could amalgamate, uh, but without any kind of cheating, and also grab all of our equipment into the map update and I thought well let's show everybody else how to do this by obviously this would only work on PC and Mac I'm not sure if the Mac places are obviously the same but what I'm going to try to do is show you how to do this now obviously there are some differences this would normally have a skirt all the way around with painting any such painting of any mod at all there's no concrete you've got to paint it yourself and you will note that it's absolutely flat as a pancake. There is no bumps or humps off anything. We have one casualty, only one of all of the things that is perfectly flat, that was had angles. This is the casualty. This no longer works for whatever reason. It has it might be able to draw things out. The other one, we have no such problem. The one that was just my straw store, this still works fine, but you will see there is no concrete. Yeah, nothing at all. So, that is the problem that you get. Obviously, that's not a problem because you can repaint this, but that does produce quite some problems when you look in the hopper. There's bits of grass poking, and of course, it's a mod. It won't allow me to paint over it. So, there are certain things. This was one the tree grew in it. So, what I've said is I'm no longer feeding. The, you'll, you'll see. I'm not going to go over the same ground, and I am doing. Yeah, bottom line is I just need to explain how we got to the video that you're going to see after this one so as I say what I did was this is a brand new new farm start so there was only the new farmer equipment now I deleted all items off the new farmer start so that when I put my placeables file in it won't crash won't crash into anything that already exists in that particular place now I'm going to show you a screenshot now of, from one that I took of and just explain a little bit on on what yeah on what's basically right this is taken from my PC now obviously the locations on yours are going to be slightly different I'm going to talk you through exactly what I did so that if ever there is a map update on PC or Mac, as I said, the names may be slightly different and they will be slightly different. On a PC, your save for um, Farm Simulator is in documents and this is my backup save. I'll show you the original one is in... Yeah, let's, let's make this full screen so you can actually see. Is my games, documents, my games, farm and simulator 2022. Now, I've had a backup of save game 12. We are in the live save game 12 on the game where I'm showing you there. That's my farm and simulator window. 
this one is my backup save saved from this PC documents backup farming simulator 22 hobos hollow save game 12 so what I have done is those three underlined with red XML files vehicles placeables and farmland they have been transferred copied into the original one here so in save game 12 I literally copied them and I have those exact files that were taken from our live old game and put into here thus all of the GRLE files that you see there the ground layer environment all of those are that is Hobo's Hollow that is what the what Farm Simulator 22 reads to get all of your information farmland is your fields the field numbers you will see that the one means it's on for me whoever the farmer is so I have got fields one two three four and five which as you know is true I don't own any other now of course I could cheat but this is not really what I'm showing you the reason for that so now if I go back to this so what I did was I obviously first of all tried and I do explain this a little bit I tried to get ready by using the tree be gone and removing any trees that would have presented a problem but I miscalculated yeah these ones I left in and they literally are in the building so we are gonna this is a casualty that will be fixed just by selling it but we have got 37 tons of flour and so obviously we're gonna go through the thing get rid of the flour make bread and then when that's all done which is about four months I believe 10.8 tons of bread a day this produce a month should I say so in four months we're going to get rid of this we are not putting any more flour in I've switched that off from the lords because we can still only pr produce that and sell that amount of bread anyway so it's not holding us up in any way shape or form so anything like that is what I've done so yeah this is just I'm sorry if I've gone around in circles. I am I am quite angry with myself in a way that I've, this it has come to this. But I thought it was a unique opportunity. Otherwise, it probably would have been the end of Hobo's Hollow. And I thought it's not. I don't need it to be. So I thought it was by coincidence. It was the month of August on the last episode. I left it in August. Now, obviously, as we all know, New Farmer starts in August. So I thought, well, why not amalgamate, get the update done? So if you look in statistics you will note that I've only been on this map for two hours and 53 minutes and I've only played one year which it says from the very beginning now obviously now I have actually done some work this was zero and you will see it at zero almost in the first video we've done two hours 21 minutes of harvesting driving and fuel usage okay so that's all that is there's no trees cut down all the tree be gone when you use it because I did I chopped down all the trees the first time I did this there were trees in here and that's when you realize all placeables will be placed at exactly the coordinates that they existed before so to get away with this you have got to do some prep now I did but I obviously miscalculated in a few places and I'm glad I did because then it gives me the ideal opportunity to show you what happens when you don't prepare prepare properly I thought I'd done this I thought I'd got rid of all of the trees in the right place but I haven't no I've miscalculated and we've got a couple of trees inside that so obviously for aesthetics it matters it doesn't really matter for the game itself but that's not the point we're not aiming to be sloppy and all the rest of it so I repainted these roads this is my handiwork because it was all just green and I got rid of a lot of the little bushes that make it look awful I also made this which you'll see so just showing you the sort of background to what actually happened so I moved those in and at that point the original fields obviously had for that very first year had the some things in them now three and four you start with in the harvested state and they're the only fields you start with obviously we know that I bought so why is that going to say why is that not yet yeah, two and five they've still got we've harvested one and three and four were harvested and they have been ploughed ready for us to use this coming year so I thought well it's three fields it's better than not having any fields at all we, we get uh, the amalgamation of the fact that we know I put soybeans in I get well I get field five that still has soybeans in 
and I got the other one with something, which is better than having absolutely nothing, I thought. Obviously there's no pH and the, oh, the nitrogen is perfect, so whoever the farm was before did actually. We bought the field data, you'll see all of this. You, but you will also note, if anyone has, if you went back on YouTube, that the actual field data is different. This shows that it is a brand, the brand new map. It is the one that Haggis has. It's the updated one. It's not the original one. So I think that covers almost everything. So basically, I shook those three files. Now, if you ever wanted to do something similar, likewise, all you need to do is farmland shows ha what fields you have got so you would transfer the farmland into your save i just show you again so if we go back out to this in your save game why is that not sure in this is my actual save game in farming simulator which corresponds to which it always tells you what what you are this is hobo's hollow so farmland shows you what fields you've got. Your vehicles are, strangely enough, stored in an XML called vehicles. So if you grab that from your backup save and stick that in a new, it will put all of your vehicles with exactly the right, they are your vehicles, exactly as you bought them, exactly how old they are. And the third one you want is placeables. Now that has XY coordinates, uh, XYZ coordinates really, yeah, it's literally height, and yeah, longitude and latitude on the map of exactly where they are so that when you do put those in when it wakes up these are all in that exact position but they are placed as if by magic in other words it's not like us actually placing them out of the map that does something strange but it does mean it does present quite an interesting thing in so much as everything's perfectly flat there is no bumpiness at all everything is perfect apart from this kind of problem so yes i will need to remove this and re-add it because again this is another casualty again i could live with that for a little while but it looks like an abandoned farm so obviously bit by bit i'm going to get this back to the hobo's hollow that we know and love and that really is in essence i'm going to put this before the video that should have explained this that did explain this but also I'm, I'm sort of writing this as a, a help really I haven't done any um, I haven't seen anybody do this if I'm honest there's people who use information about XML files but I've never found anybody that actually does what I am trying to help you with so in a map update if you move those three files you retain the existing or the new maps ground layer environment the GRLE I think it stands for that that's what I'm guessing anyway but basically your ground layer all of those ground layers and there are multiple ones there's ones for um, weeding and spraying and yeah all the different the, this, the um, precision farming elements all of those have a ground layer let me show you let me show you it's far easier if I do that yeah all of these are GRE lock state map offset map don't ask me what that means lock state map nitrogen farming cover map um seed rates and soil map and soil map yeah and precision farming yield map all of those have their own ground grle file then you've got the traditional ones in there weeds tip collisions stubble shred so that it, it, it tells you when you're going to hit a, hit something that is a real object roller level plow level spray level lime level placement collision generated grle and then i think there's some gdm fires crop rotation grle that's obviously the crop rotation mod that i've got which i am not sure if that was what actually set this going in the first place but it is all working nicely now we have bought this in there's a few casualties a few things to sort out i did bring the money back in Obviously, I did have lots more money because I did new farm and stop, but the whole aim of this wasn't to cheat. It was just to give us a fighting chance to set the ball rolling again with this, with, yeah, if we're going to go out in a year, uh, we are doing very well. We are. It also, the other thing, no, I'm, I'm not going to go over that. I explain it later. I think that is enough because I want to try to keep this succinct and as simple as possible. So, if you have an update or some sort of game crash, if you do a backup of your saves and put that somewhere safe, all you need is farmland, placeables, and vehicles. 
and stick that into move that copy it into the actual one make sure the game isn't running when you try to do it because it's it will have those files locked I believe that would be my guess as a Windows administrator I would say that it would have and would give you a jip but if you try to do that when this isn't work isn't actually running at all it will just say that that file already exists are you sure you want to do that do you ever want to overwrite it and you just say yes and then if you load that game up you will have all of the existing vehicles with all ages I will show you this I do show it in the video a little bit more just want to pick a car just to sort of yeah to show it's 67 months old yeah, it's worth five thousand eight hundred and ten dollars and yeah it's manual three percent damage and it is exactly right so everything we've got is exactly the age that it was so every single sale item we bought through Hobo Hollow is now back in here as you recognize this is the equipment that we've already got this is exactly as it should be uh, the position of everything is as we left it and that is it it's just the painting and a few casualties that we need to replace now because it's game mechanics I'm not going to charge myself if I lose something I'm going to stick it back in I'm going to put the money back to 355 but it does present a challenge in so much as we do need to shift everything out of it the oats and the soybeans I'm not worried about the uh, bit of lime or well, yeah actually that is quite a lot we shift it from this silo and shift it to this one and then stick that one back I'm not not trying to do this to I do love this I prefer this in a way I, I prefer the other Romatine one as well but I'm not going to change this up this is, I love this and I, we this is what we chose and this is what I'm going to stick with so that is it. That is the explanation of how come in the next session all you see is this and me just plough straight into a time lapse I think and without any explanation of what, why, why you're seeing that. So now you know the why and the how. So going forwards any map update or if giants say you need a new save it works exactly the same because your the updates will update the map when you do a new farm or a start from scratch star or a farm manager all you need to do is grab those three files stick them in and you'll have a new map with your equipment with your placeables then it's up to you how you handle the the bit of collateral damage and obviously as I say bear in mind that Hobo Solo had a lot of trees I ended up doing this twice yeah and obviously still made some mistakes there are still some trees this is a massive casualty that one had a tree grown in here which we chopped obviously I can paint and sort this out which again these are yeah you can see the tree stump actually here yeah. I'm gonna sort out that type of thing in time behind the scenes yeah or no I've already done a partial where I showed you me painting these I'm not going to keep doing the same thing I'll just try to get it uh, pretty much sorted but yeah that's it I will keep it at that I'm going to say I do hope you're going to continue with me on what's left of the let's play but I thought you know this is my it's about time I give something a bit more substantial back and explain I was just going to do this and I thought I, I can help people by doing this it's better than a mod review in a way this is information that is really will enable you to recover from any bad save or map update or giants update as well I have done this before and it does work I'm not saying it's not saying it's perfect as we've seen there are casualties but on the whole this maintains everything you get all of your placeables exactly what you bought put in exactly the same place on the new map but you do need to do the painting but all of the placeables also will have in exactly what they had in before so there's no cheating you've got what you had exactly with that placeable with what was in it so that means all the silage is still in this which I do show as well but yeah just showing again that all comes with it it so it is it is an easy process for us to do and then you recover and you've got a brand new map like we have we're in the brand new hobos hollow with haggis that is just updated and we have all of our equipment and all of our placeables with a bit of work I shall get this back to the hobos hollow that we're all we all know and love 
almost with a little few weeds added yeah that's that weren't here before but then the farm is getting on now yeah even though it says it's only one year old we know i've been here for about five or six years i think it is or three or four years no, i think it's five or six actually if i'm honest this is one of the longest let's plays anyway that's the explanation i don't want to make this un any more waffly than it needs to be that explains how you can recover from a map update or a, yeah or even a giant update. And on that score, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. I do hope you're going to continue with me. And I'm going to say goodbye for now.